Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be playing with the new ColourPop and Avatar collection. Now this is Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a show. It is not the same as Avatar the movie. I had no idea. I have never seen either, so I did not know the difference. So I'm going to go through the collection. As of now, I'm filming this on... Tuesday, March 29th. Okay, so the entire collection is sold out as well as the eyeshadow palette, but don't fear because if you wanted the eyeshadow palette, but you're kind of like waiting for it to come back in stock, seeing if it's worth it, I have dupes for you. It looks like the cream gel liner set is sold out, but you can buy them all individually except for the shade Blown Away, which ironically is the shade I used today. I wish I checked that. Actually, almost nothing's in stock. The two lippies are in stock. The face mask kit is in stock. The compact mirror is out of stock, which you guys are in luck because I'm going to be giving that away, as well as the lip mask is also not in stock. And I'm gonna give that away as well. So I am picking a giveaway winner on my last video today, which was the All The Buzz collection. If you're interested in watching it, I'll link it in the cars up above. I did a little giveaway with the lip oils from that collection. And now these are two products that I'm gonna give away in this video. This is the Jasmine Tea Overnight Lip Mask. The reason I'm giving this away is because I have a bunch of ColourPop lip masks that I already need to go through. I just don't see the point in keeping a bunch of lip masks in my collection when it takes me so long to go through them. And also the compact mirror. These two products are sold out, so I feel like these are two good products to give away. This is just a mirror. I don't really use compacts personally. I have one in my purse. I don't need another one. So if you want to enter this giveaway, you have to be a subscriber of mine. So hit that subscribe button down below. Also like this video and then leave a comment with your favorite Avatar The Last Airbender character down below. I have not seen the movie, but I will be checking to make sure that the character you put is actually a real character. So yeah, if you wanna enter the giveaway for these two products, um, those are the rules. So these are two products that come with the collection. I'm not gonna unbox them and show you guys. So the first thing in this collection, other than those two products, this is Water and Earth. Uh, it's like a little face mask duo. The Water Soak It Up Hydrating Hyaluronic Mask. I actually really, really enjoy this product, so I'm excited to have it again. I think I got this little Soak It Up Hydrating Mask. I think it was like, last holiday season ColourPop sent it to me and I just really, really liked it. It's like a hyaluronic mask. You can, you know, sleep in it overnight or you can just like use it as an actual mask. I like using it as like a face cream and it's just super hydrating. It kind of has like a light cucumber fragrance. I believe there is fragrance in this one. I'm not really big into fragrance, but like mild fragrances I can tolerate and I really like that product. Also because it's not like a product I use every day. It's more like when my skin is like really dehydrated. So since it's on an everyday product, I can justify it having fragrance in it. And then this is one that I have not tried actually. This is the Big Detox Mud Mask. Oh, that's a very strong peppermint smell. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm sure it would be refreshing, but that's like pretty overpowering. Ooh, I will definitely give this one a try though and I'll let you know how I like it. Then it comes with some cream gel liners. This first one I've already taken out of the package. It's called Blown Away and this is the one that I used today. It's also the one that's sold out. My bad. I feel like ColourPop never does pearlescent eyeliners. They're always like a matte formulation. So I'm really excited to have these. This is like a light pink, like a light champagne pink. Metallic pinky white, ColourPop describes this as. I would say that that's accurate. It's like a metallic champagne that definitely pulls more pink. Next up, we have this shade. It's the blue one. It's a little blue guy on it. This is Making Waves. So ColourPop describes this shade as a metallic periwinkle. Super beautiful, I love this color and it's super in. I think this is the Pantone color of the year, isn't it? Then we have this little green dude and uh, I thought it was gonna be a green cream gel liner. I was mistaken, it's a bronze. So that's the shade Groundbreaker and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic deep warm bronze. And lastly, we have this guy. <laughs> I don't know any of their names and I'm too lazy to look it up. This is the shade Fiery Fierce. This one is my favorite. And ColourPop describes this shade as a metallic bright wine red. I would just say it's like a wine color. I wouldn't actually say that it's very bright, but yeah, super beautiful colors. I'm in love with these. They're so pretty. Okay, so next up we have two lip colors and I do have dupes for you because these two lip colors, they're the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains. They normally retail for $8. And since these two have the intellectual property associated with them, they are 
dollars. So if you don't wanna pay the extra dollar and you really just like the colors, I do have some dupes from their permanent collection for you. They're not exact, but they will provide a similar vibe and it'll save you a dollar if you care. I don't know if you do, but I just wanted to give out some options if like you really like the colors, but you're not like a diehard fan of the show. So you're not like collecting for that purpose, you know? So the first one is the shade Fanatic and it is super duper bright. Okay, it actually doesn't describe the color, but I would describe it as like a bright, pinky red. It looks more of like an orangey red in the tube, but when you swatch it, it turns more of a pinky red. So you can see what I mean there. It kind of almost just turns into a hot pink when swatched. So this is the shade Fanatic. First off, this is the shade Love Bite. This is actually from the Cherry Collection, so I don't think this one's available anymore, but if you do have this color already, it is kind of similar. So there they are swatched side by side. This is the shade Fanatic, and then this is the shade Love Bite. This one is a little bit darker. It has a little more depth to it, but they are kind of similar. And then this one from their permanent range is the shade Roll Out. And this one has more orange to it. It's more of like a true red. So you can see the difference there. This one is like a hot pink, which is so weird because it does look orangey red in the tube. This is the shade Roll Out. And then this is the shade Love Bite. I should have done that on the other hand because of course, I'm stained now, that was a bad idea. And then the second shade we have is a more neutral one. It's the one I'm wearing today. This is the shade Sealed With A Kiss. So this is the shade Sealed With A Kiss. And then if you like that color from the permanent collection, the shade Twice Shy is very similar. It might be a little more peachy, but honestly not that much. So this is the shade Sealed With A Kiss, and this is the shade Twice Shy. Okay, and then we have two Super Shock Cheeks. The first one is the shade Moon Peach. So this is a Super Shock Highlighter, and ColourPop describes this one as... They're actually not describing the colors, which is so annoying. It's like a peachy gold that's very light, but it has a lot of blue duochrome shift to it, which I'm not sure if it will pick up in a swatch. I really hope you can see it, but when it hits the light, it definitely has a blue shift. And then the next shade we have is called Got Glow. I'll show you the marbled effect because I kind of ruined it in the other one before I got to show you guys. That is so pretty, wow. And this one is more of a deep bronzy gold. It would definitely be too dark for me, but it's really pretty. And now let's move on to the eyeshadow palette and the dupes I found. Okay, so if you have yet to see the eyeshadow palette, this is what it looks like on the outside. It's almost like a book. I don't know if that relates to the story at all, but that's so cute, so pretty. And then if you flip it over, you have these individual color stories in the columns that make it super easy for you to create a look. And then in comparison, here is my duped palette. It is pretty similar, but there were a couple shades that I just couldn't really do very well. So this is what it looks like. I have two options for uh, that matte blue color down there. So that's why there's another one down there. So yeah, let's get into duping and swatching and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go in this direction, like the direction of the book. That's how ColourPop lists their shades in this order. So that's how I'm gonna do it, if you're wondering. So the first shade we have here is called Water Tribe and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic baby blue with a violet duochrome finish. It's not super reflective, but you really do see that purple coming through. The closest shade I could find is from the ColourPop uh, NBA collection in the Mavericks palette. This is the shade AAC. When you put these two side by side, you can really see the purple shift that's in the Avatar shade. I just didn't have something that really pulled that purple, so this was the closest I had. Next up, we have the shade Moon Spirit, and ColourPop describes this one as a mid-tone blue with violet and bright blue duochrome finish. Again, not super reflective, but you can really see like the duochrome in it. I could not find anything even remotely similar in my collection. This is the closest I could find. It is the shade Billie Jean from the Blue Moon palette and it shifts gold as opposed to purple, but they kind of have a similar base shade. So that's why I picked it. It was definitely the closest I could find. Next up, we have the shade Ice Shield and ColourPop describes this one as a matte dusty denim blue. ColourPop actually does this shade quite a bit. The first dupe I have is this one and it is from the Limoncello palette and it's called La Festa. And then this shade here is also from the Mavericks palette in the NBA collection, and this is the shade Royal. There is also a dupe in that Sapphire quad. Um, I can't remember what it was called, set on Sapphire maybe. The only thing is those shades don't pop out, so I just didn't bother to include it. But if you have that quad and you're interested in that color, uh, there is a dupe in that quad as well. Next up, we have 
have the shade Earth Kingdom and ColourPop describes this one as a matte pale nude. And the dupe I found is from the So Fly palette from the All The Buzz collection. This is the shade Dragon Tail. It does have a little more pink to it, but overall they're pretty similar. I'm sure you can find something similar to this in older palettes. I just tried to keep things as current as possible because ColourPop releases and takes away palettes so quickly that I wanted to use something that was a little bit newer. I believe there was also a shade in the Bare Necessities palette, but in the end I went with this one. Next up we have the shade Quick Sand and ColourPop describes this as a metallic antique gold. You can see when it doesn't hit the light that it does have kind of that reddish base to it. And to dupe this shade, I used the color Easy Peasy from the Lemoncello palette that's right here. Uh, when it's not hitting the light, you can tell that the base is a little bit darker, but when it does hit the light, the two are fairly similar. Next up, we have the shade Earth Rumble, and ColourPop describes this one as a matte deep moss green. When you actually apply this to the eyes and blend it out, I used it today. It doesn't really keep that green undertone. I feel like it kind of turns more into a gray. To dupe this one, I used the shade Bewitched from the Gather Round Sisters palette. This was just, you know, the most similar that I could find. Everything else was way too light. Next up, we have the shade Fire Nation and ColourPop describes this as a matte burnt red orange with gold pinpoints. This one was actually pretty hard to dupe for me. The closest I could find is this shade, which is from the Coast to Coral palette and this is the shade Angelfish, but it doesn't have the gold pinpoints and it's also not quite as saturated with color. It's a little more muted. So I couldn't really find an exact dupe for that one. I was surprised at how difficult that one was to dupe. Next up, we have the shade Dancing Dragon and ColourPop describes this. This one is a metallic vibrant brick red. The closest dupe I could find was from the Lucky Penny palette and it is the shade Copperhead. This is the shade Copperhead and as you can see it is a little bit lighter I feel when it flashes the light. This one is more of a deep brick red. Next up we have the shade Comet and ColourPop describes this one as a matte vivid crimson. And to dupe the shade I used the color Black Cherry from the Cherry Crush palette which does have a little more depth to it. This one is a little bit lighter and brighter. Next up we have the shade Air Temple and ColourPop describes this as a matte mustard. And to dupe this color, I use the shade Navarro Sand from the Mandalorian palette. Next up, we have the shade Air Blast and ColourPop describes this as a metallic champagne. And to dupe this shade, I used the color Idle Hour from the Bare Necessities palette. And lastly, we have the shade Vortex, which is described as a matte warm saddle brown with gold pinpoints. I actually had quite a hard time duping this because anything that had the gold pinpoints similar to this shade was either way too warm or way too cool. I couldn't find something that had like the perfect amount of yellow tone to it. So in the end, I just went with something that was matte. And even so, this is still a little bit too peach of an undertone. And this is the shade On Toast from the Gather Round Sisters palette. Again, I was kind of surprised at how hard this one was to do. So yeah, those were the palette swatches along with dupes from my personal collection. And yeah, let's move in to a little eye look using the palette. Okay, my friends, so let's get into doing a little look. I have no idea what I want to do. I just really don't know. I'm feeling very uninspired today. I like how there's an individual color story in each kind of column that kind of helps me out anyway when I'm personally feeling uninspired. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping to do something a little bit different than like just using the three in the column. I was hoping to, you know, be a little more unique than that. I just don't know if I have the creativity in me to do anything, you know, cool. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is do like a blue lower lash line. So to start off, I'm just using my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm trying to get some good use out of this because I haven't used it in a while. I hope you're all doing well. I don't have a ton of updates for you guys. Life's been a little bit slow lately. I'm not complaining, you know, like life really hit me fast for the last two months. So uh, things have finally started to settle down and I'm really grateful. So I don't have a ton to update you on, but yeah, that's probably a good thing. So I think what I'm going to do first is go into this kind of taupey brown called Earth Kingdom right here. And I'm just going to stamp this in my upper crease. And there's no light matte cream shade in here, which honestly I'm kind of grateful for. I feel like I just have that color a million times over. But since there's no light cream shade, I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay The Fix Pressed Powder Foundation and just stamp that onto my brow bone. I feel like I haven't been up to date in the makeup world for so long. I'm just also using this brush with whatever's left on it just to kind of blend out that color I just applied down. I feel like in the makeup world, I've been so 
out of touch and out of tune. I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe I'll do a new launches video today. Maybe I'll film that. I don't know because I just I have no idea what's going on in the makeup community right now. Uh, next I'm going to go into this really deep green called Earth Rumble and I'm just going to apply this to my outer corner. I thought this was like an avatar collection like Disney's avatar like you know the blue people. I haven't seen the movie so I don't actually know like what they're called or anything um, but that's what I thought it was. Um, it's the last airbender and apparently it's like a TV show because ColourPop has like a contract with Disney and they've been doing so many Disney collabs that I just figured. But when you assume you make an ass out of you and me, I really wanted to try out this green color because I feel like this is the shade that I have the most issues with formulation wise with ColourPop. I feel like every dark green I've tried from them has been like pretty patchy. Not every single shade, but definitely a couple I've tried and I've been like, oh, that is not... That is not good. So far so good though, like nothing is looking too patchy. Um, I'm just going to grab my Sigma E36 and just kind of grab a mixture of the two shades I've used and just use that to kind of soften this edge. This shade is proving to be a bit hard to blend, but it's not like super patchy or anything. It's just like not buffing out. Now that it's blended out more, I feel like it doesn't even look green. I feel like dark greens like this are a hard shade for ColourPop in particular. They're never great. This one's not bad, like it's not patchy, but it's not like the best, you know what I mean? Next, I'm going to take a flat brush and a little bit of the shade Air Blast. It's like the light champagne shade. I'm just going to apply this. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that color. I'm just applying this to my lid and kind of taking it upwards a bit. It's like a champagne that has like a gold kind of flip to it. It's really pretty. I feel like this would be a really nice bridal shade. I just kind of took that green shade a little further in just so I have like a little bit of like a smokier lash line. So I'm just drawing a really thin line just to hide my lash band when I apply lashes. Then I'm just grabbing some micellar water on a little cotton round and I'm just cleaning up the fallout and kind of creating a sharp line. Then I'm just going to grab a little angled brush and I'm going to take the kind of medium toned matte blue. And I'm gonna do this on the lower lash line. I wanted to include the blue, but I really didn't know where to put it. So I figured this was like the best option. Just like that. And I'm going to set my concealer down a little bit. And I'm just gonna blend that shade out a little bit. I don't wanna take it down too far, but I don't want it to be like a harsh liner line, if that makes sense. Then for waterline liner, I'm going to use the shade Blown Away. It's like a light iridescent pink. It's so pretty. I feel like ColourPop doesn't really do like shimmery eyeliners and I'm so excited that this collection has them. Then lastly, I'm gonna take that shade Air Blast again and I'm just going to place that in the inner corner just to add some brightness. I'm going to add some mascara. This is the Bare Mineral Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. I really enjoy this one. Okay, so I think that's it for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna pop off camera, do my other eye, do the rest of my face, and then I will come back and we can play with the rest of the products. Okay, so I finished my eyes and face and now I'm going to move on to highlighter. This collection comes with two super shock cheeks and I'm gonna go with the lighter of the two if I can find it. This is the shade Moon Peach. It just looks like this. It's kind of like a marble pattern. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. It has a lot of blue sparkle to it so I wouldn't say that this is like everyday appropriate. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me zoom you in a little bit. It flashes pretty strongly like a bluish purple. It is kind of fun especially with this look because I do have blue on the lash line but that's not something that I would wear every day personally. Okay and lastly for lips I'm gonna go with the more neutral tone shade. This is the color Sealed with a Kiss. I don't feel like it really goes with this look, but the other one definitely would be too bold, I think. This is definitely brighter of a lip than I'd normally pair with this look, but it's still really pretty. So overall, I do really like this palette. The one critique I have is I do wish that this green shade did apply a little more green or translate a little more green on the eyes. It just kind of looks like a brownish gray to me, but again, not a huge deal. I think what I'm actually most excited for, which I didn't really expect, are the eyeliners. I think they're really quite beautiful. When it comes back 
in stock, I would definitely recommend getting like all four of them because they're all four super beautiful and I can see myself getting use out of all four of these colors, especially the Periwinkle for summer. It's like a super in color right now. I did enjoy these two shades. If you wanted to just pick one, I would probably say go with the shade Fanatic because it's a lot more unique than this shade. This shade Sealed with a Kiss was fairly dupable within their permanent range. I did like the Super Shock Cheeks. I just figure that I'm probably not going to get a ton of use out of them. I'm not going to wear a highlighter that has a lot of bluish purple reflect to it. I could see myself using this deeper shade on the eyes. It is really pretty, but other than that, like, I don't know. I just don't see myself getting like a ton of good use out of it. Some products that I do see myself getting a lot of good use out of and I'm really excited to have back in my routine. The hydrating mask and I'm excited to try the mud mask. So yeah, that is my roundup of the collection. If you are really into The Last Airbender, I don't see anything wrong with the products quality wise. I gave you my opinions on, you know, like what's more dupable within the collection versus not. What I would personally purchase as someone who's never seen the show, I would get the eyeliners, maybe the palette just cause I'm an eyeshadow junkie and probably this little duo. So yeah, those are my final first impressions on the collection. Um, I think that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It helps out my channel so very much by you watching. So thank you. Please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.